Okay. Okay, here we are, Lace Part 2. Oh, here's the rat things. Oh, oh wow. So here they are. Now look, if anything goes missing, fellas, you'll know where it's at. It'll be in Nashville. <laughs> yeah, those are sharp, man. Yeah, and so then we There's offer the red it. Pack. Oh my God! Wow! So that was your one-stop shopping. You could get the red man, pack. I wish wow! I was, move that guitar. Through. I wish I wasn't seven years old when those came <laughs> out. <laughs> that is just sick, man. That's the sickest thing ever. Wow! I can't even believe that. Yeah, so literally it took me five minutes to design the You'd be body. the most badass dude you got that package right So, how, So, I mean, like, as a, a collector's item, that's definitely like a major collector's item. I mean, how much you think something like that would go for if somebody walked into Pawn Stars? No, I, I've seen the, the Rat Packs go for, I think there's actually one that was just recently on eBay sold for like 800 bucks. That's it? I've seen them as high as 1500 mm -hmm. I would think but, but they'd be worth. That retailed for like three hundred dollars. You know, I mean. God, I I yeah, would, but how many did you make I was of like them? Seven years old in '95, or I would have bought. Uh, and we built a couple yeah. thousand fink, finks. Yeah. You know, over the. Years. I mean, there's so many people that love Roth and that that whole culture. You well, know. Though, I mean, those those are the prototypes there. The, what we did is then we had them transferred into decals, and then. The cool thing that I made sure that every one of these has a serial number, and there were only three hundred dollar guitars, but they had a serial number oh, yeah. because it's all about the collectability. Right. So the Can idea was that we work. were going to change every year. There'd be a new um, artwork. Yeah. On it. That or, was the or whole thing. So the you'd have the, the two thousand series, and then the two thousand ones would have yeah. all the different Roth artwork on it. Well, yeah, we were going to be coming out with the the Beatnik Bandit version was going to be the the next wow. one, which was based on one of his show cars. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? It's all cool. Wow, these are badass bases, man. Wow. So how many how many of these bases did you guys manufacture? Well, we built a lot of those things. Wow. I mean, they're in hiatus right now. I like how you, you know, they change it up with the knobs, too, the different knobs. I like those on there. Wow, I love it's that guitar. Things. Are any of these guitars still available for sale, or what? Well, the Cybercast, yeah. Right? The, that, I mean, that's that's what we're showing at the show again. Oh, good. Yeah, so those are back. You have that teak guitar over there? Yeah. That thing's crazy, too. Wait till you see that. It's like a teak, it's like teak wood or something. They got like put a frame, it's just wild. It's at the show? Yeah. All right, good. It's wild. Yeah. That's just crazy. Well, you you remember, you know, Josh who built it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He committed suicide last week. Oh, my God. Man. He is working on three more Talikis for us and three more Cybercasters, and I haven't heard anything, you know. I just, I heard it, I had Spurt Cells calling, going, hey, do you know what happened to Ron and, or, uh, you know, to Josh needs some money, and what happened? Is what? So, oh, man. I, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm just totally bummed from it, I'm just like, so, I mean, that's just he's like, a well. dear friend, and... You know, I never had any inclination about it. That's the, 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 the sad thing, Don, is that's usually how it is. It's like you wouldn't even have a clue that somebody's you know, got demons or, you know, struggling with something on the inside.